Hello, welcome to this week's video. I'm just editing the video actually, and I filmed the intro the wrong way around. So it's just me filming the floor as I walk around the barn. In this video, we went to some training with my friend Abby and I update you a bit on Obi and everything that's going on. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about my washing machine. And yes, now it will resume live footage or the footage from my day. Sorry about this. Still useless at this, apparently. Thank you. Excuse you, young lady. Desperate. <gasps> Little Robin. Lives in the barn now. Okay. You want to see his stable? Oh my God. Mm. Got a rather sad Obi update to tell you all about. I could tell you now, actually, while I'm feeding. So, in our last competition, we went to a show in Nottingham and um, the surface is waxed. It's a waxed surface, which means that when a horse stands on it, it doesn't naturally move. So, a horse's leg lands. It does, this is relevant, I promise. When a horse's leg lands, it slips a bit, like on the floor. It's hard to describe one-handed like this. Here's Oz Oz. Um, and so, Obi basically tripped. Nothing, nothing very exciting about it. He tripped and um, he stumbled in his dressage test. And then the next day he had a swollen leg and he has previously injured himself. He had a check ligament injury. So there's like a branch in the suspensory called the check ligament and it's potentially injured. We're waiting on a scan from the vet. We haven't had a scan yet, which is frustrating because, what am I doing? I'm getting a wheelbarrow to muck out. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't had a scan yet. So we don't actually know 100% what's happening. We're just waiting. So lots of walking, lots of icing, lots of, Arc equining is very boring and it's very upsetting because this week we should have been going to regionals and we're not, we're not going to regionals. So we're going to do a bit of mucking out and then we're going to pack up and go. Meg actually packed the lorry last night, so there's not that much to do. So a bit of mucking out, give them a brush and go. Time to open the truck, giving them a brush. And yeah, as you can tell, we are brushing rather this morning. We've both mucked out two stables. We've got a few less in at the moment because Dee Dee was in for ages. She's not now. And what else? I can't remember what else. Oh, there's no shavings in it. It's a lot of. Uh, videos this morning of me talking and then just stopping talking and doing something, thinking about something else. Horse number one, going on there. Did you open the front? Oh yeah. Nice coat in. Oh God. George has just appeared with this bit to try. I mean, any guesses on how you do it up? What are these bits for? This is fun. Anyway, George brought us a hot chocolate and loads of snacks. Yay for George. It's an angle and a half. You always do this to me. <laughs> Nearly here. I think we've worked out that maybe Zora looks a bit bigger than Tilly. But maybe it's because of her grass. Ready. George has already headed over. Just putting our backy boots on. Just a moment to appreciate the beautiful Hackett Equine Equitex. This is a limited edition colour, ready and available on my website very soon. Hi. <laughs> How'd you turn the camera around? How'd you turn the camera around? How'd you turn? You can't do it once it's... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello. 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 Hello.
I don't mind. <laughs> you got such a happy know. face. Hello. You got um, such a happy face. So this was quite an interesting session with Zora and Abby was so, 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 so helpful. So Zora has the tendency to go a bit high and not really travel across the fence. She tends to get a bit tight behind the saddle. And you know, guys, I was talking about um, the canter leads uh, being a bit problematic in my last video. Well, Abby had a very easy solution for me there. We were talking about how after the fence, if I sort of hold and then kick Zora to ask her for a change, she tends to bring her neck up and not be very soft. Whereas if I just allow her to be soft in her body, then she can find the change herself. Um, his clips are all a bit muddled up, but here's George having a little jump round for his a course. So he's working down that distance and then working through this double. He had so much better breaks. Um, this bit was much better. You can see Tilly was much more sort of keeping his head up rather than dropping his head down. Uh, so it was my turn again to have a little jump round the course. So we came to the Oxa. See again, Zora going a bit high. Davi was just really getting me to ride really nice and forward. Um, and you see, yeah, she's just getting a bit close and a bit sort of inconsistent. But I was really trying hard to ride her forward after the fences and stay soft. Now, in a moment, you'll see Zora really takes a disliking to um, not this fence, which has some fillers, actually. But the next one, this nice little brown one, she said... No, thank you. I don't like that jump. And I couldn't tell you why. Maybe we haven't really jumped anything rustic. But um, yeah, Abby was kind of like, look, you've just got to get her around and get her over the fences a little bit and give her confidence. And this is what mainly Abby was talking about. So so I had the tendency to drop my hands very wide. And you'll see as I go on that I get better at it. And then it's not so problematic. But she really didn't took a disliking to this uh, rustic fence but Abby was really getting me to keep my hands together like I was riding through a tunnel and you can see there although she wobbled she still went we put some guide poles out as well and Abby said to do that at home but it was very interesting when I started really connecting her with my hands then it all started getting easier. When I was sort of dropping her, that was really problematic. And what Abby was saying is when you have a horse that's super careful, like Zora is, if you drop them, 
at the bottom of the fence, they kind of go, oh, where you've gone? Anyway, back to George. He was having a great session. So Tilly's a bit funny about canter leads. And so uh, Abby's advice was just to kind of stick with it. Either make a change, but make sure you're looking up or just to keep him in uh, like counter canter, wrong canter lead to keep the, the course flowing but you can see he had really good control he was riding nice and soft down the distances and I do think that George also really finds it helpful having someone on the ground that he really trusts you know he um has been out of the game for a while he used to jump a lot like ages and ages ago but yeah you see here all the cantaloupes are all a bit all over the place but he had so much better control and he was really finding it helpful to have some help from the ground and you could just see his confidence grew and grew and he was getting nice distances to every fence and he was really he had a lovely time he had the best time ever he was like yeah this is great so yeah really pleased a little bit deep there but again Tilly is mega mega strong and Tilly like you saw in that video of me jumping at home in the grid work he's kind of like yeah all right I know what I'm doing so yeah, George was really, really pleased and feels ready to be going out to a show. I don't feel so ready to go to a show, but we're going to go and do some more training, I hope. Um, and yeah, but even here, George jumping a little bit bigger and Tilly just having a lovely time. So George was super pleased, really, really happy with how he jumped in this session. And I don't blame him. It was a big improvement from Wake's End where he didn't feel he had much control. So he was pretty chuffed with the session. I think we go back to Zora now. So um, we made the fences smaller from Tilly because Zora was obviously having a little confidence crisis and I was having a bit of a kind of how can I help you crisis in the sense of I really had to change the way I was riding her. She just went really green and wobbly and so I had to really be there and support her. And like Abby was saying, I have to ride her through a tunnel. So from my leg to my hand through this tunnel of connection and actually the difference in the feeling got better and better and better and the um, the striding and the canter leads after the fences got better and better as well her balance much better in the canter which was really nice so I just kind of had to go with it here Ooh, bit wibbly wobbly but she went on the three strides so I was pleased there and this is the thing you know Zora is incredibly green I could probably count on my hands the number of times that she has jumped around a course of fences and I don't think she's ever jumped a double other than some little grid work nice flying change there after as well so I was really pleased with her there I think we um, we just went once more now. And yeah, I was really, really happy with the progress considering we had this blip in the middle. And I think it's important to remember that, that you're going to have these little bumps in the road. And, you know, you go somewhere new and they just take a disliking or a liking to something. And that's no problem. It just is what it is, <laughs> essentially. And you just have to ride what you get on the day. Feeling really nice to that fence through the middle. Nice change again. And she's changing late behind, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just wanting her to find her own balance. Abby was really getting me to just be soft in my hands and my seat after every fence to make sure that um, I was allowing Zora to make the change. That was what Abby really wanted me to be doing rather than kind of forcing and she jumped really nicely there, really confidently through the double. I was super pleased with her. Yeah. Well, that was really great. Did you have a great time, sir? Fab time. Proper enjoyed it. So nice to have some help. Zora grew in confidence. Really interesting that she went so wibbly wobbly to start with, but Abby was saying that's really common when they're careful like that, that they change every time they go out. But yeah, we'll be back for sure. Bit work. Your bit worked. Good stuff. Hello. Ow. Oh my god. 
back now. Obi's really sad that he didn't get to come. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. <sighs> so rubbish. So rubbish about this injury. Ugh. Makes me so angry. <sighs> Hopefully, fingers crossed for a positive answer from the scan tomorrow. Right, we're going to unload the truck and then do some riding. This is what happens when Meg drops the saddle soap, but we really like the saddle soap, it's the Leovet one. So, <laughs> oh, just being uh, practical. Really weird stuff, isn't it? It's really slimy. That's some sort of challenge out of like. I'm a celebrity. Or I'm a <laughs> little Robin. My kings. He's getting much better at this. I don't know if you can see them through there. Maybe not. Oh no, here comes Dee Dee. Maybe through the trees. We weaned. Are they coming? Hello? Are they there? Yeah, we weaned Indy yesterday. And it was the least stressful thing that's ever happened. We literally just separated them. And that was that. No shouting, nothing. And now, so Dee Dee and Indy are in the field behind that hedge. And Keiko and Nanette are over there. Easy, easy as that. So I've just been riding the last ones that needed riding, teaching. Meg was just riding her horse and one of the other liveries was riding. Um, such a good day, such a great thing to take you guys with us. It was really, really interesting having some help with Zora. We actually had some help with from, Zora, uh, from Abby ages ago. You guys will remember we went some course hire uh, miles away. Um, but it was really, really nice. And a few things that Abby said really made so much sense about, and I will have done a voiceover on the video because Abby said to take her voice off, which I get. Uh, so I'll have done some voiceover. But when we were talking about after the fences, you know, in my last video, I was talking about how I was feeling a bit like annoyed that Zora kept landing disunited. But um, today, Abby was really talking about how she can't change if she's tight in the neck. And of course she can't, she can't change if she's tight in the back at all. So I had to really make sure that I was just letting her come soft after the fences and then the changes started to become very automatic and then the jump started to improve. And it's interesting, sometimes Zora goes very high and although yes, that's lovely and impressive, well done. <laughs> it's actually nice to see Zora taking a bit more shape that way. So like across the fences. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with that. I'm actually gonna go to stable gym this afternoon now. It's now, I don't know what time it is, cause it's, what time is it? 10 to, 10 to two, I'm going to stable gym at three o'clock. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, getting back. If you want to see some clips, head over to my Instagram. Um, I'm going to stop vlogging now and yeah, I'll see you for next time. All the day-to-day -day stuff, follow me on Instagram, at Mary Hackett. I will see you guys for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.